Hi, this is AppChasers.com. Today I wanted to take a look at the great app called JW Library. Now this is the official app by Jehovah's Witnesses and it's been on the App Store for quite some time. However, it's recently got some new features so we wanted to show you how to use these. But first we wanted to go through just a little bit of an overview of the app itself. You see it here in the iTunes App Store and you can see that it has a number of different tools for Bible study and research. Well, let's go ahead and open the app and we'll show you some of these features. The first thing you'll see when you open JW Library for the iPhone or the iPad is, of course, our most important tool, and that is God's Word, the Bible. So we can see we've got our Hebrew scriptures laid out here and we've got our Christian Greek scriptures. We can slide to the left here and we've got our index, continue to slide and we go into our appendixes. You can see that we've got our tabs at the top of the screen that are um, sliding over as we do that. So let's go through some of these tabs. First off, we can touch them too besides sliding to the left or the right, but we can just touch these tabs. For example, our introduction. Now, our new New World Translation um, has some questions that it answers and shows these scriptures that answer commonly asked questions about the Bible. So you can do that just by touching on one of them. To go back to where you were previously, you'll just want to tap in the upper left-hand corner. So you can go through this nice introduction with all of these questions. You can also read the foreword and see the names and the orders of the books of the Bible. Now we'll go back here and we'll now switch back to our books of the Bible. Now at the bottom of the screen you see that we have some other tabs. We're on the Bible tab right now, but we also have publications tab, daily text, and then an online tab. At the upper right hand side of the screen we have a search feature, we have bookmarks that we can add, and we've got a new language feature here. But we'll go through all of these different features. I just wanted to show you an overview really quick of those. But let's dive into each of these tabs right now. So the first one that we want to look at, of course, is the Bible and how to use that feature of JW Library. We've got it open here. Let's go to a common uh, scripture that we like to reference, and that's Psalm 8318. So what I did there was just tap on the Bible book Psalms. Then it brings up our chapter picker. We can choose 83. And now we've got our scrolling view of chapter 83. And of course 18 right here at the bottom. Now you'll notice that on the right, on the right hand side of the screen is just a blank uh, panel right now. But we've got a little instruction here. It says please tap a verse number. Now what that's going to do when we tap on let's say 18 right there, it's going to show us some other translations of the same scripture. So on the right hand side we've got a reference Bible, we've got the Byington American Standard King James Version, and uh, all of course showing the name Jehovah here. But one thing that's nice, these are all the standard ones that come up, but you can change those uh, at any time with the customize button right here at the bottom of that panel. So we can rearrange those different Bibles. And as you get into our video that we're going to show next about um, the different languages, these will show up there as well. Now at any time we can look at uh, footnotes for this entire chapter. That is by just tapping on this asterisk over here in this right hand pane. And we can look at uh, some different scriptural references for other scriptures that are related to the different verses of chapter 18. So for example, if we were looking at verse 18 of course, we'll tap on that, it goes to our different versions of the Bible. But if we tap on this little A right here in the middle part of the uh, right hand panel, we've got 8318 at the bottom and it references some other scriptures that are related to Psalm 8318. Now at any time we could close this uh, panel just by tapping to the upper right hand side here. You can see I'm just toggling that panel open and closed. Now if we want to add a uh, bookmark here, 
we can do that at any time simply by tapping on our bookmarks button in the upper right and uh, tapping on one of the bookmarks and it'll bookmark that entire chapter of the Bible so we can quickly get back to it uh, when we're at another place in the JW Library app. Now if you ever want to add a bookmark for a specific verse and not just the whole chapter, what you need to do is scroll down to that verse, let's go to 18, then tap right on the text here of that verse. You'll notice it turns red and now uh, that will be able to be bookmarked specifically to that verse. So I'll open up our bookmarks tab here and I'll just tap right here for a new bookmark for Psalm 83 verse 18 instead of just the whole book. If you ever want to delete a bookmark, simply swipe to the left and we've got our trash button here. So we can tap on that and remove that bookmark. However, we can also replace a bookmark. Let's bookmark Psalm 83:18 again. Now let's uh, navigate to another verse in the Bible. Let's go maybe to Isaiah chapter 65. And now we want to bookmark Isaiah 65. However, let's say that all of our bookmarks are filled up. Well, simply replace a bookmark by swiping to the left again and tapping on this replace button. And now we've got Isaiah chapter 65, which has replaced our bookmark for Psalm 83. As we're looking at Isaiah chapter 65, there's another neat feature that's been built into JW Library. And as we're reading this, you might notice some different terms that you'd like to do a little more research on. For example, in verse 9 here, uh, we've got where it says, I will bring out of Jacob an offspring and out of Judah the one to inherit my mountains. Now, if we tap on and hold Jacob there, it's going to bring up a very familiar menu for iPhone and iPad users where you can copy a term, you can select all. But here we have topics and search here that are unique to the JW Library app. So what does that mean? Well, if we tap on topics, it's going to bring up different topics that we can search the insight volumes for on that particular phrase. For example, we can look up Jacob as an entire general category. We can view events in Jacob's life or we can view Jacob's fountain here just in this instance. But if we tap on uh, Jacob, it'll bring up the insight book showing us all the information on that Bible character. Let's go back here and uh, we'll do the same thing here for Judah. Tap on that, select topics, and it's going to give us a number of different topics uh, pertaining to Judah here from the insight book. So we can tap on one of those, Wilderness of Judah, let's say, and uh, we'll tap on that and it brings us right into the insight book on that topic. So that's the topics uh, menu here and how to use that in JW Library. We can also uh, use our search feature. For example, we've got Sovereign Lord Jehovah right here. We can select that entire phrase, hit search, and it'll find all the verses in the Bible that reference that or use that same phrase. So we can go to all verses. We can find every reference to that phrase in the Bible. So that's a neat way to use our selection and uh, topics and search features right here in the selection menu in JW Library. We've also got uh, in the upper right a three, these three little dots. What I like to do with that is you can look at the text settings. You can change the size of the uh, text that you see in the Bible there. And you also have our open in button. Now what I like here is the open in the online library feature here, you see it uh, with a little watchtower icon. If we tap on that, and I like to do this when studying the Bible, since the entire online library is not available yet in the JW Library app, we can open our library here. We can scroll down. It opens that exact chapter that we were on. We can scroll down, tap on 18, and now we have different watchtower publications that reference that scripture in our pop-up here. So we can always just look at a nice article that explains or puts meaning into that scripture. So that's how we use the uh, share button there in the Watchtower Online Library. 
So that's a nice overview of the Bible application. One last thing that we do want to show you in the Bible is the search feature. Now that's up here in the upper right as well. If we tap on that, we can uh, search for any term, maybe a scripture that we remember a specific phrase from or a word that we want to find which scripture that is. We can just type it in here and it'll search the Bible for the most commonly used instances of that word. So for example, uh, we can type in Nimrod here. All right, so it's going to bring up a listing of the top verses here of the Bible that have the uh, reference to Nimrod. The top verses tab on the upper left here in the middle there and then we've got all verses that reference that and we've also got some articles this pointing to the uh, outline of Genesis here. So there we go a nice little feature that we can uh, search for within the Bible if we just remember a specific word or a phrase from a verse but we don't know the scripture. Let's back out here to our main view and still staying in the Bible topic we've got our index that we were looking at before uh, table of the books of the Bible, which is nice to look at and uh, find out when the Bible, different books were written and completed and by whom. We can uh, toggle again that right hand pane to close that if we want to get a better view. Let's go back out here. We've got abbreviations, Bible words indexed, which is a nice feature too with some links if we want to search for a word in that way too. And we've got our appendixes, which feature uh, all the beautiful, nice tools of artwork, maps, um, explanations of scriptures in our new, uh, new World Translation Bible. All those appendixes are available uh, now right here in this tab of the JW Library app. Let's go to Appendix B. We'll show you some of that. And this, these are the nice maps that we are... Uh, so beautifully laid out for us here to review. So that's an overview of our Bible. Now let's look at the bottom of the page here and you can see we've got our Bible tab that we're on right now. Let's switch over to publications. So here we can download a number of different publications, booklets, brochures, um, audio programs, videos, and uh, we'll go through this entire tab here in another video. So look for that other video. We've also got our daily text tab where we can quickly read the daily text and uh, look up scriptures here. If we tap on any scripture here in the daily text, we'll see it open here in the right hand side. So that's a nice way to look at the scripture in different versions of the Bible. And the brothers have included a reference to the watchtower that this daily text comments are taken from at the bottom. If we tap on that where it says W13, we've got over here on the right hand side those paragraphs that the daily text comments were based on. And then we've got our online tab all the way to the right and that's just going to give us some links to the official website jw.org, uh, the JW Broadcasting website, or the Watchtower Online Library. So that's a quick overview of the main features of the JW Library app but we'll show you some extra features for example how to download additional content, and how to turn on languages features in the app. So look for those videos following this one. This has been AppChasers.com.